Yo guys, what is up? I am Drea Dreamer, and today we are back in One Shot. Last time we- or we just got out of the library. Last time we talked to the robot at the front desk, they said we needed to talk to George, the head librarian, and she was not available, so we need to get a library card uh, to go back and see her. Which, I didn't see any way to get a library card in the library, ironically enough. And so, we're going to have to find a library card through some other means. So... It's locked from the inside. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna go- I haven't- didn't explore the rest of the city, really. Uh, so, we're just gonna... Should we go in the alley? Yeah, why not? It's only a bit creepy. Yeah, that was weird. Andrea, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something? Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Do we continue? Um... I'm guessing I'm doing something, right? This is creepy now. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, Thank you so for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Hmm. There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Andrea, are we really going to take these with us? They look so heavy. Alright, we don't have to. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Thought you were gonna like say no or something. A jar full of red glowing fluid. Okay, yeah, that was in the um. Am I gonna get yelled at for taking those? Cause I think I know who Mr. Lamplighter might be. But yeah, like, uh, in the. This is so creepy. Oh. There's a fox. Whoa! Andrea, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But. Can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return. Please do. Uh. What do you mean by that? No reply. That was creepy. I'm creeped out. Oh no. Oh no, there's a robot trapped in it. It's so sad. <sighs> well. That was weird. Hey, who are you? Hey, kid. Want some dump- some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Okay, yeah, that sounds fair enough. And then Mr. Toaster. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Yeah, I don't think that's how breaded fish works. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to go find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From... the... library? Ironically enough, that is not the answer. I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh... Maybe check out the factory? You just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. I guess. By the way, I think it was in your house, and I think I stole some shit. Let's see what's in here. There's a slot here. Looks like a paper or something might come out from it. Okay. Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. 
I'll just, uh, stand here. Okay. More food. Cool. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay. Thank you. What's this that you're selling? Hey, hey. Ready for me to blow your mind? Sure. Okay, so. I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh. Thanks? Don't thank me. Go spread the word. Okay, so I think I know what I need that for. If I decide to go... Okay, I think I have to go down here now. If I decide to go back to the plant, I can probably use that. Why is it sparkling there? Oh, it's just the water. Cool. But yeah, if I go back to Maze's seed, then I should be able to plant or water her with that. I think I would need more water, though. Where is this? It's weird because, like, the Barrens was so small compared to this place. So, like, both this place and the Glen. Technically, it should be bigger because it was on the outside. N no, no explanation? Just... Okay. I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Leave, then. Cool. This is fine. Why was there a giant X there? Okay. So... Where am I, and where am I going? It looks like I can unlock this door. Okay. Oh. Cool. That's cool that they have stuff like that, where you can just, like, unlock doors and it makes it easier to get to places. I need to go back here, though, because I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. Is that the tower? I don't think it is, but... Okay, is this where we're supposed to go? Is this right? Hey, there's a robot. Hello. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The... Huh? You must change the color of light the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Um zero lights correct. Access to nine. Nine tries left. How am I supposed to know this? Um how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Okay, I'm not gonna try that yet, because if I only have nine tries. Or if yeah, if I only have nine tries, I'm not going to waste them without knowing. Hey! The luminescence index of lead, liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming, to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. You have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? I have the sun! No? Okay. Um, so yeah. Cool. Hmm. Interesting. May help you go one color at a time at management. What's that mean? Hey. Beep boop. This is the printer room where our machine parts are made. Also, robots. Cool. You can also help to write down previous attempts. Okay. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Okay, so it changes each time. So... Hmm. Alright, let's try this. Zero light's correct. Okay. Saying lock mechanism. Okay. So... 
Time to start over. Okay, let's try this again then. Did it! I did it! Oh my gosh, I did it! Cool. Access granted. Awesome. So. Cool. That was actually a really interesting puzzle. Alright. Oh no! Another robot. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... What am I gonna do? Okay, so I can't help you, I don't think. I don't know. It's sad. Hey. Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually rec references his works. Who's Dr. Silverpoint? Never found that out. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Coffee, probably. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. Square Particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. Oh. Hello? Oh shoot. If I'd known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darned lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Andrea helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. It's very, very ironic that the library is now the place I go to get the library card. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? <laughs> that sounds like George, all right. Sorry you caught her on a bad day. Ah. Uh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot. The front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. It's true. Can I see what this is? Something is poking out from this shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you really get tired sometimes? Kinda. I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. Huh, I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world's still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh. Uh. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher. All I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know so someone who still does his research for its stand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... Ask him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or, most specific more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah. Okay, she talks a lot. Hey, Andrea? Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? You mean like Silver, and her name's Dr. Silverpoint? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I must want to ask her about it. Should I? Yeah, sure, why not? You have... You have it, so... Her name's Kip. That's nice. Oh? The... That's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked... 
kind of like you? I see. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based around myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? I wanted to be a robot, a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Well, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her, her vo volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that, Amber, okay? I will. But I did that. Hmm. Okay, so... Okay, so I have to get a photo of myself somehow. Uh, yeah. I'm going the right way, I think. That one person asked about getting a photo. A photo done. So maybe... Hmm. Okay, where was... There we are. You here for your photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for... reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Heh, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the barracks, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Andrea, maybe Andrea and I can figure it out from them. Oh, from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. Cool. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. Can I just close this game right now for that pun? Uh, did I just talk to you again? No, okay. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. Pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. I have a lens. Okay. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay. And then you... Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both the cur of the curved lenses. Okay. I think... I get it. Possibly. Maybe. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Okay. So... Um, oh, okay. Okay. It's an empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit in here. Oh, okay. I have this. So... Okay. Hmm. Hang on for a second. Okay. So... Oh, that's not what I want to do. So, I have- I wrote down what it said, so... Left of the curved one. Okay, wait. So... And then, the thin one goes between the two curved ones. And then the bulgy one goes on one of the ends. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Did it work? Uh, cheese? 
Ouch, my eyes. Did it work? It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Cool. Okay. So let me combine that with this. Can't combine those. Um. Hmm. What do you mean I can't combine those? Let's go outside and talk to this person. Andrea and I fixed the camera. Aw, oh, sweet. Okay. Uh. The card is covered in glue. And glitter. Okay. Now I can combine them. The card has my face on it now. Kip's library card in quotation marks. Awesome. So, I think we've done it, guys. Uh, we got the library card. And I actually think that that's going to be it for today, guys. So, we got a lot of progress done. And, um, yeah, I'm literally looking forward to seeing what's in the library and what we can do. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Love you.